all of the trees here. The children making little castles out of rocks and pines and mud. There were girls dressed in cloths, checkered in black and white, out of personal love for their land, not the need to be heard or seen. The sky was blue, the ground was the ground. Doors were there to be knocked at, to be doors. I learned color is relative. Wavelengths have different cones. Certain combinations cause colored reality, distorted reality. So when people's homes become their very coffins, bulldozed with them into the ground, when the ground becomes a rainbow, of red blood, white phosphorus, and brown burned bodies, I try to remember that color is relative. When skies are black with fumes, and children are canvases for bullet holes, and a five-year-old is in rags, crunching an apple, watching her world unfold, this is all she knows. I don't hate the soldier who killed my brother, she says. I just wish he didn't exist. Another girl, a ten-year-old, takes people to the fence to show them her paintings. They're always in black. I'm tired of color, she says. We are all tired of color. She paints windows with mountains and beaches behind them, draws birds with olives in their mouths, paints girls always climbing. A fence just here to imprison us, but this is my freedom. And I remember a distorted reality. Black is also a color, but I let her think it isn't. And I think of the poet who said over and over again, we teach love, sir. Just watch this little girl, a woman who makes bread for others. The girl in bright fluorescent orange, crushed by a bulldozer twice for standing in front of another family's home. People love us, they said. We walk back every day, bulldozers always coming. A man plays a half-broken ood. Another builds a new house, it's gone. A woman visits her husband's grave past their curfew. She rises by falling sometimes, she's quiet to walk this land has no more cemeteries that can hold its bodies. It's become one continuous graveyard of color. She's quiet too often. Mm -hmm. My grandfather had a library and a garden. He used to say there are only words sometimes. They don't have to be heard to save you. My grandfather is dead now like the rest of them. And it doesn't matter how or why. Because all of this is just one, because all of this is one continuous spectrum of color. I'm an artist there because it's easy being one. My canvas is so colorful, I don't even have to try. I take my canvases home with me, resort to science. It's the only place where everything has to make sense. A perception of reality is distorted. The colors of this image are relative, so you can ignore it. Their soldiers have children who know nothing about what they do. Mothers who worry. Remember, light is hitting their cones in different ways. The red you see, they see brown. You consider that perhaps you are hate-folded with too many distorted paintings. Nothing else would make sense.